All right, so um, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is we have a pattern. And what we want to do is we want to see if we can find uh, the formula for this sequence. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to look at each one of these terms, which we've talked about as far as finding the n value. We know that the first bet number is going to be 1. Like our first term was 1. The value of it was 2 over 1. The second term was 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right. So to, what we need to do is simply just be able to find what is going to be our rule. So we want to be able to figure out what is a sub n. Now we notice we have a fraction. All right. And the first thing to do, guys, when, whenever we have a fraction, is to not treat it as a whole number, or sorry, as treat it as a number altogether. What we're going to want to do is treat this as how can we determine what the numerator and the denominator are separately. So rather than trying to figure out what the whole fraction is, try to figure out each term in the numerator and denominator separately. So when I look at this, all right, if I have term 1, yes, to get the value of my numerator, I have to do what? Add 1, right? Does that work for the next term? To 2, add 1. 3, add 1. 4, add 1. 5, add 1. So would it make sense then I could do n plus 1? Yes? OK. So let's go and look at the denominator. What do I have to do from, if here's my first term, what would I have to do to get to 1? Well, I could do nothing, right? But the 2 to go does not give you 2. So yes, Brittany? You multiply by 2 and subtract 1. Let's see if that works. Multiply by 2, subtract 1. Yep. Multiply by 2, subtract 1. Multiply by 2, subtract 1. Multiply by 2, subtract 1. So therefore, in this one, it's just going to be 2n minus 1. And there you go. Now that is your rule for your fraction. That was number 47 to write down.